in XRD analysis, peak contains the most important information. For example, if new peaks are appearing, this means that there is a change in the crystal structure of the material. If some peaks are disappearing, or there is an increase in the peak intensity, or there is a decrease in peak intensity. So, peaks contain the most important information about XRD graph. So, let's see how to describe this kind of information in a research paper and how to relate XRD analysis with SEM graphs. They must support each other, they must validate each other results. So, let's get started. Here we have two samples. The first sample is basically pure perovskite film. This is basically pure perovskite film without this material. The second sample is basically dead perovskite material, but with the, the other basically added this to the perovskite film. So we can see that both samples have quality SEM images. Both samples look great in morphology. Here in this sample, in pure perovskites, we have clear grain here. While in this modified film, the grain sizes increases. But overall, both surfaces looks great. So we can see here that both material, both surfaces give the same XRD pattern. Very interestingly, that this material, the introduction, the incorporation, of this material into the perovskite does not change the perovskite crystal structure. How do we know that? We know from the main peaks, this is for example one peak here, this is another peak here, and this is basically another peak here. And they mention here, this is 1 1 here, 220 and 310, and they are basically lying here on 14.2 degree, this is basically 14.2 degree, this main peak here, yeah, peak. The second one is 28.4, this is the second one here, exactly yes. And the third one is basically this, it is almost at uh, 31.82. Yes, here. Yes, yes. 31.82. Exactly. So this means that the main peaks are there, no new peaks are appearing here when we modify this surface or when we add this material to the surface. So this means that the crystal structure does not change. This is one important indication. Here, look this one here. This peak here is basically the lead diiodide peak and we know that in perovskite this is basically the unwanted, this is the residual because it, it creates a lot of problem and it acts as a recombination center. So here in the pristine perovskite we can see that this peak is higher in intensity, yes. But when we modify the surface with this material, so this means that this peaks decrease in height or an intensity. It simply means that, for example, in this pure structure, if the lead iodide is all around 100, this, this species is around 100, let's suppose. So from the peak analysis, we can observe that this 100 decreases to 40 or 35. This is because of this treatment. So XRD can clearly tell us about the intensity. Here the intensity decreases for this lead diiodide. So this clearly means that this treatment, this material significantly reduce the content of this lead diiodide in the modified surface. And the rest of the peaks are same in intensity because I mentioned my analysis says that both structure looks great, good crystallinity good morphology. This is why there is no significant changes in the intensity. So this is when you explain the SEM in terms of grain size, after that you can write like that to further investigate the effect of this on the crystallinity of the perovskite film. XRD analysis was conducted. So you can also write like this. This is my sentence. Now XRD analysis was performed, was conducted to further investigate the effect of this material on the crystallinity of the perovskite film. Because we know that when we want to write in a result discussion or characterization, so you, we have to use simple past tense. So this one I explain here. And here, basically this one I also explained that with this incorporation or introduction of this thing. So the lead diiodide peak is located at this two-thirds angle decreases. And this indicate that the residue 
this reduce the residual uh, residual mean remaining and let the other in the postcard flow this is how we have to relate we have to interpret xib graphs the data i took from yeah this is the sem images and here yeah, this is the xrd graph and this uh, data is published in nano micro later this is the title of the journal by one at all in 2025 and this paper is basically uh, published under a common lessons 4.0 uh, this is the link to the lesson